Holy moly, this is a great haul today. Wow. Oh my. Hey everyone, welcome to RetroTech. So today I'm in the vehicle here, my Jeep, and I'm going for a road trip. So I got a call from a supplier of PVMs. Now it's a very rare call that I get. I get it, it's been a year since I've talked to them. And this has been an ongoing relationship I've had with this company where I go and I go get any uh, PVMs they have. I'll go pick them up. Generally, they're all been scrapped at this point. So it's really unknown what I get and they don't really know what they have they just know that they've got a lot of large CRTs and I tell them you know if if you've got some good ones I'll come and buy them so today we're gonna go out there to their facility and then we're gonna pick up the PVMs and just see what they've got so let's sit back and enjoy this ride all right guys so as i'm driving here i thought you know i'd just talk a little bit and give you some background here now this is a connection i probably made four years ago and it's a um it's just uh someone who goes around nationally actually and and takes hospital equipment out and uh, when it's decommissioned and mostly hospitals medical clinics things like that so I met them a few years ago and they are in a rural part of Tennessee. I mean the middle of nowhere. So we're, I'm going to drive out there today and um, I only get to go there probably once every six months if I'm lucky. I think it's been about almost a year since I've been there because they just haven't had as much stuff as they used to get because I think the CRTs are just drying up and um, if they're not people are trying to sell them and that's understandable but anyway um, today we will go down there and see if they have anything else not just CRTs because they get a lot of cool older equipment that's where I got the Sony uh, VCR if you saw that video that's the SVO VCR I got that from this place and I also got a lot of those Extron switches which I haven't even covered yet and uh, scalers, really just random audio video equipment will show up there sometimes. Another thing to note about this place I'm going is the CRTs are not gonna be tested or anything I buy is not tested. It's pretty much salvaged and a lot of times people will actually take marker and write like scrap on the glass of the screens or throw these big nasty recycle me stickers on the front of it that take a lot of time in themselves to get removed off the glass properly and safely uh, so just keep that in mind I have gone down here and gotten six or seven CRTs before and had two or three of them be pretty good and the other two or three were pretty much scraps so that's fine you can get parts for them but this is not something that I recommend uh, people do if they're just out looking for one PVM if you, this is for somebody who's looking for more than one PVM and looking to repair them and so that's why I do this this is the best chance for me to even get any PVMs at all anymore because uh, the market's just starting to dry up more and more and more as we go through uh, almost to 2019 now so now I'm just going to finish up my drive here. I've got about another 20 miles to go. And uh, when I get to the shop, I'll see if I can get my camera out and walk around and get some footage for you so you can see. Now naturally, I'm not going to show you the name of this business, the address, or um, even any more details on it. Because I know if I do, somebody will try to come down here and uh, maybe even undercut me. But I don't know. I mean, these guys are really good people. Um, I have long-term relationships with them, so it would be hard even if they, someone found out to come in and take this um, relationship away from me. But I will show you the warehouse that I can and uh, also show you just anything else I think that might be cool. Bunch of junk CRTs, but these are the good ones. I'm taking these home with me.
here we are at the recycling center. They're gonna go pick up my PVMs now and bring them out here to me and I can load them in my Jeep. All right, friends, so welcome back. And I've just left after getting my load of PVMs and it was great. I actually found they had a, a huge pallet, probably six foot tall of CRTs waiting for me. Now, unfortunately, like three or four of them were kind of obsolete. Uh, CRTs from lower end computers like a compact CRT and uh, then there was actually a couple of Panasonic's one Panasonic was pretty darn big over 20 inches but it only had S video and composite there I left those CRTs again a couple of consumer CRTs too which you know I have really not got a lot of interest in right now. Um, I've got plenty of CRTs. Time we're gonna go now, and I'm gonna finish driving back about 30 more minutes, and then I'll set the camera up and show you uh, once I unload the PVMs. All right, everybody, welcome back. Now you can see I got the whole haul offloaded, and we got some great stuff here. These are all, again, these are the 220 M2 MDUs on the left, these two Sonys. This one's from 98, but this one's from 2003, which is about the last year they made these, so that's really good. And then we've got these two, which are Olympus clones of the 20M2. These are OEV 203s, and these ones are actually from 2003 and 2004, so these are possibly like some of the last to be made, which is just great to find 2000. Anything after the year 2000 is a good find as far as PVMs are concerned. And then we've got, of course, the massive 2950. Now this guy, I did power test it to see if I could get screen to come on at the place in case it didn't work. But you're looking at a 29, you know, PVM with a 30 inch screen on it. It's just awesome. Uh, so I want to test this one first, but that's pretty much going to do it for today. I did get one more item. Let me show it to you real quick. It's this. It's a light board. And it works too, but I got it so I could have my plans on the light board, my schematics for any projects. I'm gonna hang this in the shop. I've been looking for one of these too, so the company had one. Here we have just another look. I wanted to show you a closer look at these models. And again, these guys will be all calibrated and tested in future episodes. So look for that to come. But today I'm just showing off the haul, and that's pretty much it. All right, everyone, that's the haul video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think with a comment, and if you like the video, give it a like. Thanks again to everybody for subscribing, and I'm Steve. Have a wonderful day.